Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Uranium! Last time we got the 8th and final badge. There's not much left to do in the game. So today we're going to go and do everything there is to do, or maybe not necessarily everything there is to do, but everything that we plan to do before the Elite Four. There's actually not much. There's a couple of little side quests and I guess there's a little area or two beforehand. You know, there's always Victory Road and all that. So let's get out of this place. As always, it's a little bit laggy, but... Let's go see what happens. I think once we get outside, or once we go somewhere, yes, we are going to get interrupted. I think there's going to be some story stuff happening here. Calling Professor Bambo. Alrighty, I'm not sure if he's calling us or if we're calling him. Psycho, hey there. So it's true, you just got your eighth badge. Heck yeah, I did. You managed to defeat Kaito and Hinata. Wow, that's incredible, Psycho. Thanks, I know. Of course, I knew you could do it. From the day you left my lab with your starter at your side, I thought to myself, that kid is really something special. And wouldn't you know it, I was right. Right. You've gone above and beyond everybody's expectations, you and Theo. Theo has gone below expectations, man. Actually, expectations were very low for Theo, so I guess he went over expectations, but that's just because they were so low to begin with, you know? So, what's next for you? Well, I think that's pretty clear. The championship awaits. It looks like they're still holding it this year despite the nuclear Pokemon. I guess they aren't letting a little environmental disaster get in their way. Well, I guess it's uh, good for them. Between you and Theo, those other competitors don't stand a chance. Do they sit a chance? Huh, me? I've been hard at work trying to find a cure for the nuclear Pokemon, but since we still don't know what's causing the meltdowns, it's slow going. I'm sure we'll get a breakthrough soon though. Maybe today we'll find out for real if it has been my mom this entire time or not. I I'm still holding to that. I still think it's gonna be my mom, but we'll see. Oh, sorry, Psycho, I've got an incoming call. Let me just hang up on them. Okay, it's from the Ranger HQ in Beale Beach. This must be something very urgent. I'll call you back later, okay? Okay, then. Nope, oh, that's that. Uh, I guess I'm... I don't have control of my character right now. I'm just kind of looking in all different directions in crud. And, huh? What's going on? Uh-oh. Don't tell me there's another mu nuclear. There's another nuclear meltdown here. Is the village under attack? I'm scared. Uh-oh, don't be scared. It's just the Pokemon Rangers right here. We are here to save you. What's up, Dad? Please remain calm. There has been a potential threat. For your safety, we are evacuating everybody. That is not what you say. You don't say, please remain calm. There's a potential threat. It's like, please remain calm. You're about to die. It's like, that, no. You don't just say that. To a safe house. Okay, so everyone's going to a safe house here. Citizens of Tsukinami Village, please come with me. Now, wait just a second. What's this about a threat? I'm not going anywhere until I know what's going on. <sighs> we have reason to believe that there will soon be an attack on the nuclear plant uh, to the east, similar to the attacks in West Tandor. Now, if you'll come with me. What? Why would somebody attack a power plant? Yeah, and how do you know, how do you lot know some about it? So that, uh, whatever. It smells mighty fishy to me. Yep, very fishy. Like Theo. Enough. Who's that? Oh, it might be the gym leader. Yep, it's Kaito and Hinata. All right, what's up, dudes? Uh, cease your chatter at once! The sacred leaders themselves, this must be serious. Listen to the rangers, you must follow them to the safe house immediately. At once, your majesty. I guess they'll listen to them at least. They really think very highly of those gym leaders. I mean, they're basically like royalty or even like, I, I don't know, like gods to them basically. Apologies, the people of Tsukinami are not accustomed to taking orders from outsiders. They listen only to the divine word of the gods. For many years, we have defended ourselves from threats. However, we are not prepared for dangers such as this one. Please, tell us, what have you rangers discovered? We have a clue as to what is causing the power plant meltdowns. Apparently, somebody or something, like my mom, has been causing them on purpose. Our tip told us that they were on the move and are heading to power plant Omicron, because it's the last remaining plant in Tandor. We know of what happened in Vinoville Town, something that is capable of such destruction. This is not the will of the gods, therefore we must fight. You will find the armies of Tsukinami at your service. Good, we'll need strong, capable trainers to help battle the nuclear Pokemon. Already they are gathering in greater numbers on the island. I have heard of these corrupted Pokemon. The gods could not allow this corruption to spread further. Alrighty, I will gladly lay down on my life for the sake of my clan. At least he's not doing it for a clam. That would not be as uh, heroic, I guess. That is our oath! We are at your service, oh great leaders! Make haste to the eastern power plant! We, we shall defend Tsukidami with the power of the gods on our side! Fly swiftly, my Pokémon! What? Oh, okay, I thought she was talking to the ninjas for a second. I'm like, why are you calling the ninjas Pokémon? They're a bit kooky in this village, aren't they? Just a little bit. I mean, they are ninjas and all that. 
So, Psycho, are you coming to the power plant too? Colleen is headed the, uh, there as we speak. I don't know if it's Colleen or Kellen or... Well, he'll be looking for you when he arrives. Plus, we could use another strong trainer like you to help us against the nuclear Pokemon. Uh, you know what? We'll go. Heh, I knew we could count on you ever since you saved me from that nuclear Tancoon at Beale Beach. I knew you were a hero, just like your father. Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. Which we definitely needed, because I got a little bit destroyed by the uh, gym right there. So I guess we can go get some supplies from the Mart. I guess I'll go do that, and I'll just meet you guys right back here. Of course, the Mart is right next to the Pokemon Center this time. I'm just going to buy potions and revives. Keep it simple. Alrighty, we're good to go. Ready to go to the island? Let's do it. Take us there, Star Raptor! And it's at this time, I do want to tell you guys that I have decided... I'm not going to do the whole catch them all run thing. We've caught so many Pokemon along the way, and there's really not that many more to catch. There's like maybe 10 more Pokemon to catch. Most of the stuff left to catch is, or stuff left to get, is actually just evolving stuff we've already gotten. So lots and lots of stuff I have to evolve. But for the most part, it's really just a, a few more Pokemon to catch. But still, I decided I'm not going to go for that. Now, there are a couple of things you get. If you go back to Professor Bambo back in the starting town, back in Moki Village, if you talk to him, depending on how many things you've caught, you will get some different rewards. Uh, you get one for having 50 different Pokemon caught, one for 75, one for 100, and I believe one for 150, though I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but I believe for 50 and for 100, you get eggs that give you new Pokemon. So, if you want to get all the Pokemon, you gotta catch at least 50 and at least 100, and go talk to Bambo to get those eggs. And I think they evolve after hatching as well, so lots of stuff to get from that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go all the way to get all that stuff. But let's get back to the story right here. So they seem to be following some sort of plan. So I guess there's some kind of uh, team or something. I'm not sure if it's Team Rocket or some other team that's uh, trying to be very naughty with these gosh dang power plants. We consider that, but these are wild Pokemon. Pokeballs still work on them. That is strange. So they're talking about the nuclear Pokemon that are around here, which they're still looking for a cure. I kind of skimmed through the dialogue a little bit here. I'm not sure if they said they found a cure yet. I'm guessing they still haven't, but I believe a cure... I don't know. I, I feel like they're going to get that crud. Otherwise, they might detonate the reactor, which would release masses of, massive amounts of uh, radiation across the island and the cities beyond. Psycho. Theo. I have seen both of you battle, so I know how capable you are as trainers. You've watched Theo battle, and you think he's capable after seeing him? Come on, dude. Theo's a gosh dang red-headed dweeb. Uh, do your best to subdue as many nuclear Pokemon as you can. Also, I'm a redhead myself in real life, so I'm allowed to I'm allowed to call him a redheaded dweeb. Uh, we must protect this power plant and all of East Tandor at any cost. Even if it's $36? I can't afford that, crud. You crazy? Alright, Psycho, I'm gonna show these nuclears that I'm not afraid of any of them. I guess what I'm gonna do here is put Trevor up front. He is level 60, because of course everyone is 60 plus at this point. So we're gonna put him up front because he is the guy that I got to deal with nuclear Pokemon. So if we run into anything along the way here, we are good to go. So let's go get to it. Um, I don't know if we have to save that guy. I, I think we're just gonna leave him be. We'll go save this guy because he's blocking the building. The nuclear Pokemon are coming in from all sides. Subdue as many of them as you can. I know you can handle this. Now let's see if we can deal with this guy. No, we can't. So he's just kind of like a plot wall right now. So we gotta find the way to actually go. Oh, okay. I heard there's a bug right here. If we go surf into the water and then talk to the Gyarados, I guess it crashes the game. You want to just talk to him on the land like, or something like that? Hey, Psycho, these nuclear freaks of nature are no match for my Pokemon. Dude, they're they're infected by radiation. They're nuclear Pokemon, but they're still Pokemon. You gotta treat them with respect, dude. So here we go. We talk to Theo, and suddenly, nuclear Gyarados and nuclear Tuberiel. Both of them are level 55. Now, Theo, he's kind of a lame guy. He's only got level 55 Pokemon himself. Of course, we've got level 60, and we've got Trevor. So we're just going to go hit these guys with pretty much anything. Of course, nuclear is weak to a lot of stuff. I believe Gyarados is nuclear water, not nuclear flying. But even still, I don't think it matters which one we do here. So let's go for Iron Head. I guess Dragon Rush might have been a little bit better. Oh, he's going to be neutral, so he's actually, he's actually water. I thought he was... No, he is water. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I thought he was flying, even though I just said I think he's water. I still, in the back of my mind, is like, he's flying. I can hit him with steel type, it'll be fine. But no, because he's water, we gotta hit him with a dragon move to get that super effective, because the water resists my steel type. I believe Tuberil's also going to be water. I don't think he's nuclear dark, I think he's nuclear water, so... Let's be smart this time, let's actually use a dragon attack, and I believe Dragon Rush has worse accuracy, so we're, gonna, we're just gonna go with Dragon Claw. It should be super effective, there it is, awesome! And, wow, that guy is very tanky. Well, that is a little bit unfortunate, but we should be fine. 
Wow, dude, Tuba Reel is crazy powerful. Not very effective. Five levels below me and still just half of my HP. More than half even. Although Splendifowl is wrecking that guy. Wow, I guess Splendifowl is better than Trevor somehow. I don't even know how this is working. But, well, to be fair, Trevor doesn't have the highest base stats. He really had good stats for when we got him. But at this point, when we've got like a team of fully evolved Pokemon, honestly, Trevor's going to be one of my weakest guys. Kind of unfortunate. Looks like he healed me up, so I don't need to heal myself right there. But we went and helped out Theo with the Gyarados and Tuberil there. Uh, let's go see if we have to help out this guy. We can also get a berry up here, at least. Uh, are you going to need me? Uh, no? Okay, so... Wait, no, we do have to help him. All right. And this one's going to be a Tropint. This is going to be, I think, Nuclear and Poison type. Uh, I can't remember. Is Steel going to get Poison? I think it is. So I'm pretty sure Steel's going to be four times super effective here. And this should one-shot him. There is no way he's surviving that crud. And he doesn't. Awesome. All right, we've got that one down. And let's go get some Halfly Berries. I don't think they're Half-Life Berries, but that's okay. Let's go look for some more Pokemon to kill here. Can we help with this one now? We cannot. How about this one? Can we help with this guy? And we can help with this guy. I'm guessing we have to do the one in front of the door last because he's kind of like the plot wall. He's the one blocking us off from going inside the power plant. So we'll have to get that one last. We've got Lord Dunsp and Trevor right here. So this one's not a dual battle with another trainer. It's a dual battle with just our guys here. So I'm going to go for Iron Head on this guy. And we're going to go for a Skyfalk because I believe Chupacho is going to be nuclear and fighting. So we want to have the flying attack on him to, to get that four times super effective. So we one-shot a Shouten. I'm pretty sure Dunsparce is going to one-shot this guy as well. Not a lot of Pokemon, or Pokemon, not a lot of experience from that. Considering it's an Ashouten, that's kind of disappointing. But maybe the nuclear type, for some reason, makes it lower experience? I'm not really sure. But we get that guy, yeah, 289. That's crazy low. But we got that guy. Let's go look on the right side and see if there's any more here. Oh, we got the gym leaders with like a couple of Tanskers right here. I'm not sure if we have to help them out. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Let's try talking to them directly here. <laughs> Their love must remain absolute, of course. Uh, when we talked to Theo, it started the battle. Okay, so we'll do that here as well. I'm not sure if we're going to team up with both of them somehow. Uh, no, it's both of my Pokemon. Maybe they both lost somehow. But we've got Luchabra this time instead of just a basic guy. So I think I'm going to go for the Skyfall again. And on Tan Skewer, we're going to go for Iron Head. Got him! All right. So with this down, now let me go check and see if I can help the guy in front of the door. Oh, wait. They actually do say some more stuff here. I believe I can go on, my love. The gods lend us their strength. Sounds like a line out of Elder Scrolls 4 or something. Oh, crud! Suddenly there's three stuff inside here. Maybe we're going to have like a quad battle or something. Thank Arceus, of course. So we have to defeat these guys. Or maybe I just kind of sneak around and go inside myself. Now they're running off. I don't know why. Maybe there's something that scared them. That's strange. They stopped attacking. I've never seen them act like this before. What's happening? I've got a bad feeling about this. What are you, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo? Oh. Oh, crud. I swear. This is my mom. This is the big reveal. I can feel it. What was that? Something inside the plant? Oh, maybe it's like some soil or some roots. Maybe some water. I'm, I don't know if it's that kind of plant. I don't like this. Why is it like giant candy canes on top of the roof there? Something sounds very menacing. I swear if it's like a nuclear Snorlax or something. Psycho, get down! Oh, crud. Smoke everywhere. Here comes the explosion. Total meltdown. Oh, crud. Look at that smoke effect. Oh, my gosh. What is that? That might be a legendary Pokemon. I'm not sure. It's gone. The uranium is gone. Where is it? Killeen, you stop right where you are. Uh-oh. Oh, why is it raining only on a half of us? What the crud? As chief of the Tandor Rangers, I order you to freeze. Unlike this water, it's kind of kind of wet right now. If it was snow, that'd be a little bit more cool, I guess. Literally. Identify yourself or we'll attack. We are Curie. We are Urain. Urain? Like uranium? Stand aside or face... I was talking about the Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. Yes. You, you're the one that's been attacking the power plants. You, you're under arrest for Pokemon poaching. Perhaps you misheard us. Now you shall suffer. This music is very intense. Half-Life. There's the Half-Life, of course. But the music's very intense, but I don't feel like it's fitting for this scene. It's just not ominous enough. Very action-packed, but doesn't that like that spooky ominous feel to it? So she has radiation poisoning. Alrighty. You weak, pathetic fools. Can you not see the power we control? My voice is doing weird things. I was going to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke stream today. I don't know if I can, because my throat... My throat lately has just been killing me. Uh-oh. Back come the Tanskir here. The nuclear Pokemon. Is that 
thing giving them commands? They've got us surrounded! We can't escape! All that opposes will be razzed? Raised? Raised to the ground? I don't know what that means. Now, head our demands, or heed our demands, or else all of you shall perish. And by the way, they are so corrupt, they are so infected, or what would you even call it? Radiated? I'm not sure what you would call it, but they're so infected with the radiation that their text is green. Their text, dude. Gosh dang. We require more enriched uranium fuel. Is that why you attacked the power plants? To steal the nuclear fuel? Yes. Our power far exceeds any that would oppose us. We will crush them without mercy. You, you've destroyed the environment and endangered the lives of people and Pokemon. You won't get away with this. I'll take you down myself. I might take some recoil damage, but don't worry about that, Crod. Well, here goes Colleen. Hoo 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 hoo. How amusing. Is that how you spell amusing? Maybe it is actually, I don't know. It isn't even a trainer and yet it would oppose us. Such arrogance. For this, it will be annihilated in an instant. Your reign. Atomic punch. That sounds like a very delicious drink. Psycho, if I don't make it, you have to stop this. Curie, no matter what, we will not let them defeat us. Uh-oh. Oh, Crud Cameron, stand down, Curie. This ends now. You, impossible. We thought we killed you. You thought wrong. Now you are too late. I had the uranium removed from this power plant. You'll never find it. I have been watching you in secret. I figured out your weakness. Without fuel, you have no power. Gayaru! Oh, man. How about that voice acting, guys? We're doing a 10 out of 10 job. This was all a trap for you, and you walked right into it. Now you will pay for your crimes against Tandor. I can't believe it. Cameron? He was the one who gave us the tip. What? What tip? Dad? Dad is a... Oh, wait. Oh, of course that's Theo's dad. I forgot about that. You might have the power of a legendary Pokemon in your side, but that doesn't mean you'll win. I have been watching you. I know your limits. When I defeat your reign, it will go dormant. After that, you will be powerless. Hoo 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 hoo. This guy has some very weird laugh. Powerless, are we? You forget, we have an infinite army of nuclear Pokemon at our block beck at our beck and call. You stand no chance against all of us. For your insolence following us, frustrating our plans. You will be destroyed. Uh-oh, that just sounds menacing. Dad's in trouble. Come on, Psycho, we gotta help him. Theo, wait. Sorry, guys, I'm really losing my voice. It's actually very uncomfortable. I had to go take a drink real quick. Dad, we're here to help you. I'm not gonna let you disappear on me again. Cameron, Theo, what are you doing here? It's too dangerous. You have to leave. Kiri won't hesitate to kill you. Foo-hoo-hoo-hoo, this boy, he is important to you. Yes, his pain will cause you great suffering. Therefore, we will kill him right before your eyes. Not behind your eyes, though. No, Theo! Hmm, sentimental fool! You have not, you have paid the price. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Should you try and cross us again, an agonizing death awaits you. The uranium fuel we seek is gone. No matter, we shall locate it wherever it hides. This is but a minor setback. I guess, uh, Tempest Keep. I was like, Violet Hold? Violet Hold's not a setback, it was Tempest Keep. Soon we will have what we need, and when we do, all of you fools shall pay! Uranium, Quantum Leap! I guess Plutonium and Uranium and Crud, suddenly quantum physics, I don't know what's going on. Dad, you saved me. I... that attack was going to kill me. But you, you jumped in at the last second. At least it wasn't at the first second. Dad, I finally found out you're alive and sob. I oh, his dad's dead. Well, bro, I, I know what that's like. I mean, my mom's kind of dead. Um, I mean, I I still I am still holding true to it. I think Huri is my mom, but you know, whatever. Just ignore that. He's still alive. Quick, we have to get him to a hospital. Gyu, Cameron's Yatagru. They are said to be among the swiftest flyers in Tandor. Will you help us take him to safety? Yo! Quickly, Rangers. There's no time to waste. We have to get to the... Uh-oh. I swear to God, if my dad dies too... Oh, he might have some kind of uh, radiation poisoning right here. Killing your hurt. I'll be fine. Get to the Ranger HQ in Beale Beach City. We have to move fast. Cameron's conditions is critical. Now, quickly. Uh-oh. 
Well, if both of our dads die, I don't know what we're gonna do here. We have to go, too. My dad's life is on the line. Psycho, your dad didn't look so good either. I think he was affected by radiation. I don't really know what just happened or who that scary person and that weird Pokemon were, but we gotta find out. Yeah, we should definitely follow them to Beal Beach City. I'm sure the ranger's gonna explain some more about this Curie person. You two can both fly there, right? Um, I don't exactly have fly. No, that, that's a small problem right there. Oh wait, don't tell me, I forgot to give you both the fly HM. Yeah, I kinda wish I had this like 20 episodes ago. That would have been great. Yeah, I, I mean, I've got surf, I've got strength and crud. <sighs> I just, oh my gosh. That is like one of my, there's a few little complaints I have with this game. Overall, it's fantastic as crud, but I gotta say, waiting this long to give you fly kinda sucks, especially with all the backtracking we had to do to get like the ninja side quest and all that crud. I really wish they would have given this to us a lot sooner, but oh well. I like to get fly around the middle of the game. That feels good to me. You know, that's most main Pokemon games tend to give it to you around the middle, and that, to me, that just feels right. Anyways. Who would have expected to see Cameron again after all this time? And why was he hiding in the first place? This whole thing is very strange. Well, Psycho, I'd be happy to give you a lift to Beal Beach on my Pajay. I think the Rangers can handle the rest of... The rest of what? The nuclear Pokemon here. All things considered, we managed to prevent another meltdown, so this part of Tandor should be safe for now. We should hurry to headquarters. Hop on, Psycho! Alrighty, here we go, and we're now back in the lab here. Oh, Psycho, Professor, you're just in time! Killeen and Cameron are upstairs in the intensive care unit. Killeen specifically asked for you both. I think you ought to go see him. Alrighty, sounds good here. And, uh, well, what exactly is going on here? Oh, I guess I can move again? What the? I got Professor Bambo following me. But you know what, guys? This series might end up having more episodes than I planned for. My voice just... I don't know what's wrong with it, dude. It's really uncomfortable. You guys might have noticed, like, 20 random edits. I keep having to stop to take a drink because it's just so uncomfortable. It's still kind of there, but it's... Man, it's just really painful to talk right now. So, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I might... The finale might be next episode, but... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just, uh, we'll do more episodes if we have to, but yeah, we'll just see. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We might be back for the finale tomorrow, and I'll see you guys then. Take care.